you could in theory do it all later but I like to do it with, with the lid off because it just is easier to access all of the wiring and get the wiring neat and tidy and I do believe neat and tidiness in wiring counts okay now one thing that's been recommended by multi-week copter is you get some lanolin spray and actually spray these connectors all the connectors with lanolin sp spray um, before you make the connection uh, that way the connectors actually don't seize up over a period of time you'll be able to actually get them undone quite easily all right so that's my four motors plugged in okay now what we need to do is just sit through the servo wires outside here and we've got the actual power input connectors and the kit comes with a little um, power distribution loom so we just need to plug this into all these connectors here okay so that's straightforward now four ESCs but five connectors that's a little bit confusing but the fifth wire is the power lead to the Andromeda LED array which also contains voltage regulators for a video camera or video distribution system and it also has a direct power outlet for the NASA so this fifth connection basically is used to power the rest of the electronics indirectly if not actually okay so that's what that fifth connector there is for okay I'm not going to tie this down now later on I'll actually cable tie this to the frame in a convenient location but for now I'm just going to leave it sitting there and we're going to start in a second with the motor setup. Okay, so the next step I like to do with uh, with my builds is actually get the ESC set up. So I've plugged my wires in, all my wires in. Don't leave ESC wires hanging loose. Always make sure there's a motor plugged into an ESC before you power it up. I've got my LiPo handy and I've got a servo tester. Now a servo tester just makes this process easier if you don't have one, you can actually use your radio receiver and the throttle channel and use the throttle stick on your radio, but that's all stuff you've got to have hanging around. Uh, but you've got to have it, so you'll have it. Um, so that's an alternative, but these things are cheap. Uh, they're a really handy thing to have. Uh, some of the kits actually do come with them, but if you don't have one, grab a servo tester. Really handy thing to have. All right, so, so step one, I'm going to check the directions on the motors. Now, there's a chart in your instructions, and there's lots of charts on the Multi-Wee Copter website telling you which direction each motor has to turn in. So what I'm going to do now, got my servo plugged into my servo tester, uh, plug the LiPo into my power distribution loom, and there will be an annoying beep from the motors that don't aren't connected at the moment. Like that. Just ignore it. Okay, so what I'm gonna now do is slowly bring up the throttle and see that which motor's moving, and it's this one. And I'm gonna really run it very slow and check which direction it's turning, and that is turning clockwise. So, uh, and I look at my chart, and that is actually the correct direction for that motor to spin in. So I'm going to, so I, now I'm going to unplug my LiPo. Pop that lead to one side, because I've already checked that motor, and grab another servo lead. Plug it into my servo tester. Power up. Okay, now it's this motor's running, and that one is also running clockwise. And that should be counterclockwise. So, I'm going to disconnect my LiPo. I'm going to grab those motor wires, and I'm going to unplug two of them, any two, doesn't matter, and swap them around. Okay, power up. Okay. 
throttle up, and that is now turning counterclockwise. Which is the right direction. Okay? Just for the sake of silliness, this has three outputs, so I can plug actually two of these in at once. And there I have those two motors, both going in the correct direction. Great. All right. So, moving on. I just do the other two. But I won't bother you with that right now. Okay. So, if if the motor's going the wrong direction, just unplug any two con of the motor connectors. One and two and swap those connections around and that reverses the motor direction. Okay? Easy peasy. Alright, so that's the motor directions. So there is a chart on the website. There's also a chart uh, in your instructions. Uh, so just have a look at the diagrams and they will show you, because every airframe is different, uh, which direction each motor goes. Okay? Alright. The next thing we need to do is actually just make sure the programming of the ESC is correct. So I've got my programming card, and there's a section here that says BEC, and I plug the servo lead in so that the colors line up. You can see there that it's got white, red, black, so I've got white, red, black into the BEC connection. Okay, leave that around so it looks right to you. I'm now going to power up. Okay, and we get a series of lights. Now, we need brake to be off, battery type, I leave it LiPo, L-I-X-X. -X. Some people go to N-I-X-X -X because that gives you a lower cutoff voltage, but I'd rather um, be a little bit more conservative with my battery use, so I leave it at LiPo. Test. The next thing down is the cutoff type. We want a soft cutoff, which is the default. The next step down is cutoff voltage. The default is medium, and I like that at low. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to there's a button down the bottom here that's got like an up and down arrow, and I'm going to press that until this row blinks. The next button along is a left right button, and I'm going to press that until it says low. Low is blinking, and then I'm going to press over here the OK button. And that has just stored that setting. So now I'm at cutoff voltage low, start mode is normal, timing low on the 775 motors. I don't worry about music, and you don't want the reserved item. You're not going to touch that bottom one. So that's actually done. So now I can unplug that ESC, put the lead to the one side, grab the next lead, Plug it in. I'll go through the process one more time. Okay, it lights up. And as you can see, it comes up the same because that's the default settings. So I'm going to move down because I want the low voltage cutoff at low. So click that till it says low, press OK. That one's done. Unplug it. And it's so quick, why don't I just do the other two? Okay, because I know that's the one setting I do actually change for this motor. You do need to change the motor timing to mid. Where's motor timing? 0.6 to mid um, for the 1175 motors that come on the... Um, carbon armor. And move down to pull four, move across, okay. That's then programmed. So that's that done. Now we're ready to tidy up the wiring and put the lid on. So we'll come back in a minute.